So I just got back from doing March's Ruby's Pantry. Um, if you don't know what Ruby's Pantry is, it's a non-Christian, it's a Christian non-profit organization that prevents food waste. And for $22, you can get um, one bundle. I actually got two this month, so you can get as many as you want. Um, typical months, I usually get one. Sometimes I'll get two depending on what they have about a week beforehand on Facebook. They'll put a list out of most of the stuff they're going to have. But um, I know that these Ruby's Pantries are in Minnesota, Wisconsin, and I believe they have some now in North Dakota. Um, you go to rubiespantry.org to find um, their locations. But let me show you what I got this month. I did, like I said, two units for, and it came to a total of $44. So let me show you what I got. So here's an overview of everything I got for that $44. I'll start over here. I did get eight of these. My kids already got into them. Um, big things of distilled water. Let's see. It's one quart, 1.8 fluid ounces. Um, and this is a treat to have water bottles. So they got that. And then these really nice strawberries. Um, the gem pack. They are, I think they're two pounds. Yep, two pounds. And I got a total of four of those. So right there is a really good deal because strawberries are kind of pricey right now, actually. All foods are really pricey right now. I got four loaves of bread. I got, it looks like, one wheat, one butter bread, and two of the Sara Lee Delightfuls. Oh, and then I did do these breads. I got this real Italian and an English muffin bread. I got one thing of hamburger buns, one thing of sweet Hawaiian rolls. And then I got two of these fortified veggies and rice. It's just a meal kit with rice and veggies, everything in there. And then I'll probably donate these to someone who likes hot stuff because we don't eat really hot stuff in the house. Um, but it's Cheetos Flamin' Hot Mac and Cheese. We got four of those. And then we got four of these whoops, Quaker Real Medley's Apple Walnut Oatmeals. My kids will eat those up. And then we also got two packs. We've never had these. The Soft Tortilla Cheese Bowls. So one night for dinner, we will probably make taco bowls, and we could use these as the bowl part. So that will be neat to try. And then we got a total of four bags of these Kettle Crinkle Cut Classic Barbecue Chips. So four of those. We got two family size Sesame Street. Um, they kind of look like alphabet cereal. So the kiddos and the grandkids will eat those. We got four boxes of Llama Rama and Sloth Tastic granola bars. So that'd be something fun for the kiddos. And like I said, that we got four of these, and there's 14 granola bars. They're the value pack. So four of those. We got two of the biscuit mix. I always scratch make my biscuits. Um, so this will be kind of nice just to have um, already made and I just need to add milk to it to make my biscuits. And then we got a total of six of these individual Caesar salads. Today is the 19th. It doesn't expire or best if used by March 21st. So these will be gone before two days is even up. So. That's a nice treat. And then we got two, I think these are five pounds of diced red potatoes. And my kids love, um, I usually take potatoes and chop them up, the reds, and put them in the oven with Parmesan cheese and olive oil and bake them in there. So these will definitely be gone within the next couple of days, both of those. And then we got, oh my goodness, 10. So it would have been of the mesquite smoked turkey breast. 
Now these show uh, you Best Buy March 3rd, but they did freeze them, which I always do with my lunch meat that I get too much of, so I never worry about the expiration date of these because and when it's frozen, it just kind of stops the process. So we'll pull one or two out at a time, thaw them out, they'll be gone. So, and then I got, let's see, six packs of maple flavored. These are actual sausage strips. I thought they were bacon. So that's really cool. I've never had these before. So that will be fun to cook these up for the kiddos because they love maple flavored like sausage patties. So now we'll have them in strips. I'll probably just throw them in the air fryer. So yeah, six of those. And you know, anything like this is really expensive in the store. We did just get half a cow and a whole pig. So we are packed full of meat, but I don't have anything like this. And then they gave us three of these Purell hand sanitizers. I do have a ton of hand sanitizers, so I will probably put these in my donation bin for the church. Um, they make bags for the homeless, so I will, they're called blessing bags. So I'll probably donate those with the other stuff I'm donating. We got four packs of smoked gouda. Let's see, they're six ounces each, so we'll use those up in something. Two five pounds, uh, they're frozen red mashed potatoes. So those will be gone. One of these per dinner. Then they gave us, let's see, Ortega street taco sauce. The asada three chili and garlic. So we will try those probably the night we have taco bowls with that. And then they gave us, so we got three of these. Look like little cookie cracker. Yeah, cookies. So the kiddos will eat those. This looks like some kind of cherry filled cake. They can fight over there. So there's only two in there. And then, I don't know what these are. Sweet toast with like a cream on the inside. And then we got four packs of cage-free boiled eggs. My kids, I have these gone in a hot minute. So, like I said, if you live in Minnesota, Wisconsin, or North Dakota, Ruby's Pantry, all this, $44. I mean, you can't beat it. So, this really fills in our food budget, especially with the price of food. Right now is insane. So, we've got to cut corners and use resources like this 